Well, today is November 24th, and yesterday Shadowlands launched. Um, I tried to log in at one point in the kind of mid-evening or early evening, and it was like a huge queue for me to get on or something. There's like some, like the server seemed overloaded, so I gave up. Um, today is the day after, it's like super early in the morning, and uh, I was able to log in just fine. So let's uh, see what happened. Um, I don't know exactly. Oh, so I did manage to get a few more daily quests done. I mean, I did start playing the pre-patch until like three or so days before the game launched. So um, I did log in though every day I could and on my own start quest now. Um, explore the realms of the afterlife and uncover the mysteries of death. Okay. Uh, Shadowlands, a chilling summons. The time has come, Warlock. Hi, Lord Bolvar for Dragon. Request your presence atop Ice Crown Citadel. Meet me in Stormwind and I'll take you to him. I would not keep him waiting. Um, but I did manage. The veil between our world and the Shadowlands has been sundered. Hmm. The Ebon Blade stands ready. I await you in Stormwind. Come, for the icy grasp of death claims all of Azeroth. Okay. Um, so all I'm saying is I did manage to get a little more done in the daily quest. I got up to item level 73 from 60, and so I got, um, what did I pick up? Hat piece, shoulder piece, chest piece at least. Uh, I think it was a couple, something else I got. Uh, the weapon from killing into Thanos. Um, so I did what I could. Uh, I ended up having a few left over. I know you could just like farm the mobs for those like scourge stones, but frankly the drop rate wasn't that good and I didn't really enjoy just farming the mobs for that, so I didn't do that. Um, Alright, so we're going there. Okay, cool. I was like, I know there's going to be a portal somewhere. Uh, yeah, so I, I ended up getting my ammo level up 17 or 13 levels um, from pre patch stuff, which. Honestly, I could have gotten much higher if I had, you know, replaced all of this stuff, but like I said, I joined the pre-patch in the last, like, three, maybe four days, I think it was three days, and yesterday, before the game launched, I think daily is reset in the morning, but I, I didn't have time to play yesterday, because I don't reset, I guess, until, like, like, mid-morning, I think it's mid-morning. And I was at work by that point, and I worked until the game launched, at which point the dailies disappeared. So I got a few things, though it's a little better than I was at. Um, I still haven't cleaned up my bags. Like I just got all this stuff. Like I don't, I don't really know if there's any value to any of this stuff. Like I, frankly, I just don't know. I mean, like I've said this for a long time. I've been carrying around this stuff forever. Like I'm guessing most of the stuff. Like I can see some of the value there from add-ons is mostly not that valuable it looks like it's probably really junk but um i just haven't taken the time to mess with it like i i don't know anyway we're heading over to crystal song forest to uh, take a portal from the silver enclave to stormwind and we're gonna continue our mission from there i'm excited for this by the way like i uh I still am like, you know, terrible at playing. Whoa, what's this? Do we have another bar here? Artifact. Okay. It's artifact power and XP. Yeah, that makes sense. Still pretty terrible at this game. Um, but I'm having fun with it, so I guess I could. Alright, where's our portal? Did I fly over it? It's like right here. Am I, like, just being really obtuse here, it says. Like, as soon as I cross this, it flips the other side. Um, I don't even see anything here. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, yeah, duh. I think it doesn't seem right. As soon as I discovered the this spot on the map, I was like, oh. Seriously? The map just saved me there. Because as soon as it discovered, I was like, oh, there's a giant city here. I was like, this looks like Dollaran. And then I, I, remember, I remember Dollaran being here. I actually do remember this. Um, 
Let's see. I think the portal is like, oh, is that it right there? Oh, perfect. I thought it was more of an inside of something, not like kind of hanging out outside there. All right. Taking our portal to Stormwind. Let's, uh, oh, I like this skill, but I don't use it a lot. The, uh, what is it called? A burning Rush. This thing's wonderful. I can just like use it to scoot around all over the place. And then once I mount up, it goes away, which is great. Take the death gate to Acherus? 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 Is there, is the guy that was here originally still here? No, all gone, okay. Yeah. So like I said, I got a few pieces of gear, which is a nice start. Frankly, I expect the gears to upgrade really fast anyway from the stuff that I have since it's so bad. Um, I also learned, I remembered, you know, sometimes I was summoning, like last episode I mentioned, I was like, why am I summoning two infernals? And I was looking through my talents, like, this must be a talent. And I forgot I have Reign of Chaos. Um, every soul shard I spend is a 15% chance to summon an additional infernal, so that makes sense. Um, so this is, oops, Cataclysm I have here, I forgot I've got the green icons, yeah, yeah. Um, Burning Rush is one I just back into. Yep. 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 Perfect. Okay, that all makes sense. Let's, uh, let's do this right. Where is... Avoid Walker. Grim Thick. Yep, there we go. Alright. Oh, you know what we also need is, uh... I always forget the hotkey for shift P for collections. Got it. We need summon our faithful panda cup with us. Let's go. I like my offhands and a lantern, by the way. Looks cool. Looks like there's a standoff going on here. Acarus. Look at this portal. That's one of the coolest portals I've seen, personally. Alright, let's do this. Alright, Wrath the Lich King, okay. Okay. Welcome to the Shadowlands content. <laughs> Is it running this thing? Oh, that's cool. Oh, man. I don't think I've ever seen the Frozen Throne. Have I? That looks cool. Alright, enough of this walking. Let's move. who were abducted would offer the same counsel. Coward! I would pay any price to see hmm. a banshee impaled upon my... Yeah, seriously, Turunda is like out for vengeance these days. I want Sylvanas to answer for her crimes. But Lorthamar is right. Anduin wouldn't want us to risk the well-being of the Alliance for his sake. Look at Gallowix. Oh, it's Gaz, I was gonna say. Gallowix looks skinny. <laughs> Oh boy, I'm getting out of the way. <laughs> Enough! The war is over. We can ill afford to start another. A far 
are more pressing threat is at hand, and we must prepare to face it. So the Alliance and Horde once again join forces to defeat a foe. Okay. By the way, his weapon looks freaking sweet. Look at this. Get out of the way. Look at, the, <laughs> look at this thing. That's awesome. Alright. It is good that you have arrived. We need heroes like you in this dire hour. Complete the ritual at the Frozen Throne to open the rift into the Maw. Hmm. When Sylvana shattered the Helm of Domination, Domination, I want to say Dominion, Domination, she was touched by the power it released. I can sense the echoes of that power and I know where she has gone. If you wish to rescue your leaders, a shattered Helm can open a path. Can I bring you back, however? Then you must do on your own. The risk is great. There is no other way. We will begin the ritual at once. I don't know if I know everyone she's taken. Place the shards of domination around the circle of wounds. Then the ritual can begin when the hell rested upon my head. It took all of my will to keep its insidious power in check. Many times I nearly faltered. I could sense Are these the runes? Is it like a specific spot this has to be? Oh, yep. <laughs> this is as fast as I can go. I just thought there was like I just stand on one of these, but now I see it's actually there was the, what was the opposite side of me where I couldn't quite see it. So I need to click that. <laughs> Carrying a shard of the helm of domination, slowing movement speed. Oh, I think I want to turn off war mode, by the way. I was getting, like, wrecked on Proud War the other day on pre-patch stuff. There was, like, every quest giver I'd go to had at least four or five horde just camping it. It was just, like, an exercise in dying and then rezzing and quickly turning it in and dying again. It was not the most exciting. Wait, where's the next one? Okay, I was trying to, like, position myself so I'm on the side where it goes when I loot it, but... He looks like the Lich King. Okay. I guess they're going in order, it appears. So we'll go to this third one here. Oh, no, out of order. Okay, I got tricked. That's okay. Imagine if our character stays dead permanently. Said Tyrande to has some serious bloodlust going on, straight up. All right, what are we looking at here? Um, are those us? No. Yes. It looks like it might be us. Oh. 
These guys are just one-shotting everything. I just took out two guys myself, so, you know. Good job, me. They make me look way cooler than my character actually is. <laughs> my character's like a low-rank champion. I didn't even slay Nazoth. Okay. This is looking very much like we're going through a battlefield. Not the most ideal of arrivals, but at least we're still in one piece. I'm not seeing any sign of Tarunda. Okay. I like the uh, the audio going on here. Like the, like the, there's like thunder crackling a little bit, I think. A fractured blade. Rally ten knights of the Ebon Blade in the Crucible of the Damned. Okay. Ooh, and then we can summon reinforcements. That's cool. Should find them quickly, okay. And then defeat eight Maw sworn enemies in the Crucible of the Damned. Our knights are strong, but they don't stand much chance scattered against such an opponent. We need to thin the ranks of our foe. Okay. Let's go. Do it. Let's see. How much damage is this guy take from a Chaos Bolt? Ah, a pretty good amount. Like a third of his health, half his health, maybe even. Oh, what kind of loot do we get? Silver? Sure, whatever. Um, let's do this. Let's grab this guy. Finish that one off. Did I free this guy yet? Does he need me to come chat with him? Rallying, okay. My ears. Weirdly itchy. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's get over here. Speed boost. Can I rally both in one click? Yeah, I can. Perfect. Let's drop an infernal. Do some cooldowns, because why not? Alright. Oh, there's a mob. Let's kill that. Who's this person? Oh, another player character. It's like, oh look, it's someone else. Okay. Let's go free up these. What is this thing on me? I don't know. Hmm. Can I mount? <laughs> your mount ignores your call within the maw. Oh, really? My mount is trash. Okay. And then this thing's got to go. One of my AirPods just cut out randomly and then came back in. That's a little weird. Alright, we need to free another Death Knight. I'm not, I don't really need to kill this. Let's stop this one. Alright, all done. Good, good. Easy quest. Alright. Fracture Blade. I can now call in buddies. Okay, how does this work? Um... What is this thing? Hmm. There's a quest over here. Let's grab it. Sprint. I'm gonna use a sprint a lot, by the way. All right. Defeat Runer Marath. Okay. One of the larger fiends is several of our knights engaged. Hurry to their aid, lest we lose more of our dwindling forces. Okay. Oh. That person didn't last long. Uh. How's it work? Oh, I see. So it actually calls in, like, the squad. Right. A three-minute cooldown. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. Huh. Uh, yeah, so I should probably save that for this next mob. We're about to fight, but it's okay. I doubt it matters much. Let's take this out. What am I getting? Shrouded Cloth? I wonder if that's a new thing, or if that's... That's been in the game. I, I don't know. Am I about to go kill a big named mob? Apparently, should be fun. Well, I'm gonna make some uh, health stones real fast. All right, Ruiner Marath. Let's go. Let's go. 
Looks like a lot of targets there to AoE, so I dropped some AoE on them. Infernal time, folks. Infernal dropping is has been one of my favorite things about this character, the little bit I've played on him so far. And I mean, I've used Infernals before, but like, it's a blast. It's something cool about just dropping a big Infernal on people. And I'm enjoying getting multiple Infernals. This sprint is way too cool. I know it takes damage. I deal like, how much damage do I take? Um, 4% of your maximum health every one second. And nothing can reduce my movement speed below normal. That's pretty nice. Alright, Ruiners end. I'm loath to leave some of our knights behind, but it is obvious we cannot stand against such foes. We must make sure their sacrifice are not in vain. Scout Calcis for any signs of your allies. Okay. It appears you have escaped your enemies. Notice for the moment we should take the opportunity to scout the nearby area for signs of our allies. We will draw less attention alone, aka let's split up. The Ebon Blade will hold what back, awaiting my signal. Sure. Because splitting up is always a strategy to take. Hmm. <laughs> oh, you're funny. You're funny. Um, just blast this thing. I think I need to get down here. Yeah. Ooh. All right, let's move along. Why do I run so funny when I'm doing that sprint? Oh, I'm keeping low, that's why. It's like, what's happening? That's a dead giant. Who's this? Oh, Jaina. Yep. <laughs> Look at her just wrecking stuff. What? Look at the thrall. Is that the... Wait. wait. Oh. Hmm. Praise the light, I'd almost given up hope. Jaina looks upon the Ebon Blade Knights. Is that, is this all that remains of your forces, I guess? Yeah, it's like 12 of us, we got this. Assist Jaina in escaping the Maw Sworn in Chalcis. It's a relief to see friendly faces again, but we have little time for pleasantries. Thrall is wounded and we are being hunted by the denizens of this realm. We must seek shelter at once. Come, I believe I know a place. Okay, let's do it, guys. Dude's like one of the greatest warriors in the history of WoW. And he's like, I can, I can walk, I guess. <laughs> Come on, Thrall. Uh-oh. I was like, I saw something above, I think. I was like, what's going on? Those guys have cool wings. They're like sort of translucent, but also kind of feathered. <laughs> Terry Esh is that guy's name. Okay. I guess we're killing some har harbingers. Just cool on more often. I don't know what else I'm gonna do with it. Your chains will be eternal. That's great. All right, <clears throat> we've gotten almost all that we need. Got to kill one more. I guess I can call them like the Ebon Blade, but I don't really need them. Like, frankly, I think we're good. Oh, hey. Uh, those images will keep our foes distracted for a time, but they will not give up their pursuit so easily. That was cool. Nice, like, hallucination spell. Escort the assembled forces from Calcis to Forlorn Respite. There's a cave not far from here. We can seek refuge if we hurry. Uh, okay. Where, which are we going? Oh, who do we talk to here? Let's do it. I'm, I mean, as ready as I'll ever be, I guess, right? Let's hope so. Our captors won't be pleased you managed to slip past them again. 
Everyone else is laying low, but I'm not. <laughs> I just stopped laying low. Uh oh. Okay. Is that one mob or three mobs? I thought there was a few mobs in there, but kind of looked like just like one. Easy. Uh, by the way, I've gained literally like a third of a level already. Um, okay. I'm just out here dropping AoE on these guys because got nothing better to do. Uh, so far this is kind of fun. It It's one of those things where it's obviously not difficult. Oh, they're standing right in it. Why'd you guys do that? They just keep getting pummeled by those guys. It is trouble. An ancient ritual infused her with incredible power. I fear it may be going beyond her ability to contain it. Your cell awaits me. The jailer has plans for you. I've had enough of your cages, fiend. There is no way to run. This guy's about to get blasted. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Got my chaos bolts up. Got my uh, cooldown going. Dark soul instability. Yeah, I like it. Might as well drop one of these on him. I had a uh, curse on him there. Can I stun him? Yeah, we can stun him. Cool. Well, that was easy enough. Killed the one of our first big name mobs. Big, but you know. I mean, does anything really die in Shadowlands though, or does it just come back? I mean, it's just like literally the realm of the undead, isn't it? So it seems like that guy could just be like, "Oh, I'm good," and <laughs> just like pop back up. That's sort of my impression. Oh, this is really just like a. This is all they got. <laughs> Okay, now we phased in, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. That makes sense. What would you ask? Rest here while you can, Superlock. I will tell you what I know. Control okay. Your power, or it will control you. Uh, what quest do we got here? A moment's respite. Anduin insisted that our allies would have come for us. I confess I had begun to doubt him. I'm sure you have many questions. I'll do what I can to provide answers, but I'm afraid even after... What has it been weeks longer? Time loses all meaning in a place of such darkness. Forgive me. Let me tell you what I what little I can. Speak with Jaina. Okay. Yep. Tell me about this place. How long has she been here? From what I have gathered, it was intended as a prison for the most foul, irredeemable souls that ever existed. Okay. Pure, noble souls are being held captive here as well. Hmm. They cry out in torment. Indeed. And one of their tormentors, and ours, is Sylvanas Windrider. Interesting. It seems she has made a powerful ally. The Shades whisper of someone called the Jailer. The Jailer. Huh. <laughs> it's a big dude. I know. He looks kind of like a demon, or orc, maybe? Former orc? We have endured countless torments. At times, it felt as if we were being tested. Though, for what purpose, I cannot say. Whatever this jailer and the banshee are planning, hmm. it won't end well for any of us. Okay. 
It's a creepy zone. Like, really, one of the more creepy ones of all of WoW so far. Hmm. This reminds me a lot of Helheim. So those spirits are not even they're just malevolent shades that wander kind of shapeless. I doubt they really help us. Knights of the Ebon Blade have ways to compel the dead to speak. Oh god. <laughs> We're gonna torture tormented souls to extract information. We really we're, to, we're are we the baddies? I think we might be the baddies now. Any time to recover after that battle, Thrall could use rest too. While we rest, perhaps you and Mograin can seek answers. We're gonna straight up torture souls that are tormented, aren't we? If these souls have information we need, we will take it from them. <laughs> Jaina and Thrall are just like, we're just gonna turn a blind eye to this. We're not gonna, you know, just do what you need to do, but don't tell us. Okay. Even after being shattered by the Banshee, the Helm Fragment given to you by Vol Bolvar holds the power of domination. With it, we should be able to take control of the spirits long enough to find out what they know. They will need to be sufficiently weakened before we can break them. Okay. Bind a weakened shade to your will with the power of the Helm of Domination. Yeah, this is this is a little bit uh, a little messed up, but sure, why not? Wait, what? Where did that thing just go? Oh, I see. I see. I'll just blast this guy. How much... Got it. Okay. Can I use it on these guys? Permanent amalgamation. I don't know. I don't know what this thing does, apparently. It's not what I need. Invalid target. Okay, well, that's not the right thing. So they, I need these little guys only, basically. Alright. We'll blast up some little dudes. Alright, dominating. So I can't overkill these guys. They, um... Just become unkillable once they get weak enough. Easy enough. Alright, let's head over here. Alright, it's the last one. That was easy enough. Okay, these souls are too fragmented to provide us with anything. Wait, what is that? Use the Shattered Helm of Domin Domination. I saying Dominion. It's because of those voting booth things, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, to command the tormented amalgamation in the Plains of Torment. Okay, where is he? It's like the mob we just, just got blasted. Okay. Anyway, so, so far, this reminds me a little bit of Helheim, to some extent. Let's call him Devin play on these guys. Um, a little bit like that. Um, not exactly, but definitely some overlap to me. Um, I don't know. At least a little bit. Alright, fire locked. What? You can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that. Oh. I have a different Shattered Helm this time. That's interesting. Well, 
Got it. Okay. Guess we're in combat back here. Let's finish this guy off. Whale. What does a whale do? It's like an AoE damage, maybe? Alright. Find enough mouths and one of them is bound to speak. Let's bring this thing back to the cave and find out what it knows. Okay. Return to Lady Jane and Proud Mort in Forlorn Respite. My instincts were correct. Whatever dark magic binds these souls together also keeps them more or less coherent. It will take time, but we will find out what this thing knows. My interrogation will require use of the helm, but rest assured I'll return it to your care. Let's take our prize back. Creepy, creepy stuff, for real. Let's take our prize back. Let's uh, dominate tortured souls. It'd be cool if there was like a I mean, we are the good guys, I guess, but it'd be cool if there was, like, a non-torturing <clears throat> restless souls route we could take as an option. I think I can just run over to her and turn the quest. The thing's already complete. Seems your search was a success. Enough for us. There's much to be done. There's the torture. Anyone is being kept in a place the Shades call the Tremaculum? Tremaculum? It's not far, but the way is perilous. I have tried more than once to free him from his captors, but the forces holding him are too great for me to handle alone. I'm counting on your presence to tip the scales. They really rely on me a lot. I don't know, man. Like, I don't know if they realize it, but I'm like a level 50, 73 item level warlock that doesn't know what he's doing. And let's need a health zone, heal up a little bit, and then... Make another one. We're halfway through level 51, or level 50 already. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I always um, am impressed at how fast I can level in Modern WoW. And it's not like the worst thing ever. I don't even necessarily hate it, but it's just a very different game from Classic. Like, getting half of this, this much of a level in 35 minutes is unheard of. Uh, uh, how do I, where am I going? How do I get there? This does not sound like the way I want to go. I feel like I should not jump down here. <laughs> I have no idea how to... Maybe this way? Yeah, this looks reasonable. And then I'm kind of... It's like a bridge there, that's what I'm looking for. I'm gonna siphon life off this guy. There we go. Finish him off. All right. Yep, this looks like a reasonable route to take. Are there spiky things here? I guess I just don't run on those. <laughs> you know, I'm just like let's just not. Uh oh, oh, it doesn't hurt my pet. Perfect. All right, we're almost full health. Let's. Speed up a little bit. This is the Tremaculum. Tremaculum. Here, souls are tormented, twisted into wretched chains. Cool. Last I saw Andrew, they were taking him to the tower above. You need to find a way up. That's a big tower. Alright. Oh, little teleport pad? What is this? Here. I sense tendrils of magic tethering this room to the tower. It should take us there. Okay. Do I just stand on it? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, that was easy. Where, is it just me? Where'd they go? <laughs> oh, there she is. I was like, I don't want to do this alone. I need Thrall and Jaina with me. It was just, is he up there? Anduin, nice. That was easy. Get a cutscene here. Oh, jeez. Sylvanas, I don't want to face her. <laughs> Lie low and observe. Yeah, here we go, a little cutscene. Succeed. Such a narrow vision. You disappoint me. No matter. We will find what we seek. She's been in another. The villain? Since like the Frozen Throne, right? I guess she was kind of a good guy in Frozen Throne, if I remember right. Sort of. 
good adjacent. And they look at me like I have a solution. I'm like, oh, let me just let me just pop this open. When I've got that helm piece, I knew in my heart the light wouldn't fail us. Your presence here is the proof. All right, collect the afflictor's key from fail the afflictor in the Tremaculum, and unlock the Mawford shackles. We will show her how mistaken she is. First, I will need your help. The bonds that hold me are impossibly strong. Okay. And then an undeserved fate. Collect Mossworn keys and Mossworn forces in the Tremaculum and use them to free 15 shackled souls. I have seen many souls brought here during my detention. The jailer seems to want to break them to twist them into his service or worse. No soul deserves such a fate. The Mossworn here hold the keys to their chains. Free as many as you can and we'll get them away from here. Okay. Are these guys like right here? How do we... How do I... Where do I get the keys at? Let's start with quest number two. I have to port down. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, wow. Okay, that's convenient. This guy can drop keys? Yeah, he can. Perfect. Right, let's kill a couple of these mobs and we'll go get the uh, jailer himself since I think he's near here. Okay, let's go over this. Oh. Uh, let's kill this thing. Someone else is here anyway killing it. Can I hold multiple keys at once? I assume so. But I'll just open up stuff as I'm going. Uh, what I'm looking for though is the jailer anyway. Let's go find that bad boy. He's up here. How do we get up there? Go up this way. Oh, we're gonna free a few souls from- yeah, that's nice. Multiple souls in one cage. Let's do a little bit of life. Is it life drain or life? Drain life, drain life, yeah. Some gold. There's Fail the Afflictor. Okay, I wasn't calling the Jailer, but it's not the Jailer. That guy got blown up. Well, that was easy enough. Okay, salute them all up. Moss Warren key. Nice. More for Maw Forge lock. Open, there's two locks apparently to open on Anduin. Let me do that. Just free some folks. I still don't know if I can actually loot have two keys at once, if they're unique or not. Alright, seven of fifteen. I don't need to kill you anymore, let's go. Let's see this guy and follow. Okay, health stone for myself. I'm basically using health stones an easy way to heal up after I uh sprint. Scrim thick following, yeah there he is. Good, good. Alright, we need more of these guys. And another key, perfect. That's what I'm looking for. Forces are positioned nearby. They will defend you. Might as well call him the Ebon Blade on this guy because I don't know what else to do with him. Like, I don't really need him, right? So, sure, why not? No key on that one, that's unfortunate. Okay, Havoc on that mob. I don't use a lot of Havoc, I guess, but I should probably use it more. I've got the talent that makes a uh, Chaos Bolt not work with Havoc, so I tend to use it a bit less because I'm... It's like, you know, Chaos Bolt doesn't do anything with it anyway, but... Okay, another key. Cool. Let's, uh, let's actually blast this guy. Start getting that going, I'll open this up. Hopefully this guy drops another key, because I think we're... Yeah, doing okay on this quest, easy enough. Another key, perfect. Open this one, I have one more to open probably after this. Here, and then we can go return to Anduin. And let's get another key. I'm loving this sprint ability, it's so nice. Like, it just speeds up everything, it feels like. Do a little drain life, right? Drain life. 
I still know key, you need another key. Someone that'll have a key, this guy has a key, possibly. Oh, yeah, oh, so the other day, since this is the week of Thanksgiving, here's our last key, let's turn this in. This French doesn't go rescue anyone. My wife and I are not visiting people this year due to COVID concerns. Um, and my wife is, tomorrow will be 16 weeks pregnant, as uh, I've been mentioning a little bit. So we're just, out of an abundance of caution, we're avoiding it. Um, but I went ahead and cooked up an early Thanksgiving for us. So on Sunday, which would have been the 22nd, got up in the morning, we had a 14 pound turkey, which is a lot for two people. We'll freeze some of the extra meat probably. Um, uh, probably didn't do that today at this point, to be honest. Should have probably done it that day, but was that an upgrade for us? What is that? No, definitely not. But I, I got up at like six in the morning, it was about seven in the morning, and by eight I started roasting the turkey, but I like had a brined turkey, put a bunch of butter in it, on it. It's a bunch of seasoning, a lot of rosemary, always smells good with turkey. Um, I made sweet potato casserole, I made mashed potatoes by hand, I mashed my own potatoes, put a bunch of butter and milk in there, a bunch of black pepper, some other seasonings, made, um, got some cranberry sauce, bought a pumpkin pie, made some cheddar biscuits, which are really good. Um, I bought pre-packaged gravy, because I'm making this all myself, I thought it'd be a little bit simpler to skip one thing there. Um, made a broccoli casserole, we had some carrots in the side. So I made like a full Thanksgiving dinner. Like I'm forgetting something too. Oh, stuffing. Made some stuffing on the stovetop. Um, it was delicious. It was all done by like 4.30 or so. 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, it, was, it was like closer to like 2.30. It was actually done. We just had like this giant Thanksgiving feast. She didn't eat a ton because she's still feeling a little bit nauseated from the pregnancy. But ate some. A little bit of everything. And then I've been like scarfing. Like I ate a ton of it. Uh, that day and then yesterday I had a bunch of it for like a, a, a lunch dinner and I might even have some for breakfast today so we got so much, many, so much extra. I'm hyped on that. It's been so good. Anyway, I love Thanksgiving food. Um, like I said, I'm, I often eat vegetarian vegan food but not on Thanksgiving. I, I do not uh, follow any vegan or vegetarian guidelines or philosophies. I knew I could trust you with this task. Though we face insurmountable odds, we must try to do this. What is right? Anyway, yeah, it was great. I'm still enjoying it. And like I said, I have so much food, I might even eat some for breakfast today. I probably will. I usually don't make sweet potato casserole, but I tried a recipe this time and it was good. Okay. Anduin should be okay to follow us. I have almost forgotten the feeling of freedom. Now let us take the fight to these fiends. Return to Lord Darien Mogreen in Forlorn Respite and see what he has learned. I cannot express my gratitude enough for your help, champion. We mustn't linger, however. The Jailer's forces will soon be alerted to the disturbance here. I must leave this place at once. I may stop the episode around this point. I'm gonna see what the next quest would be. I have a feeling it's gonna be a little bit... You know, it's gonna like send us out again and... I think I might call it a day shortly. Oh, good. And when he's healed up Thrall. Nice. Now Thrall's ready to fight some stuff for us. This poor, tormented amalgamation is still getting wrecked. Um, speak to Darien. Make it talk. Not generic. Seriously, the cauldron. I'm pretty sure we've heard of the cauldron before in other zones. Okay. Could you make sense of what it said, Lord Admiral? The cauldron it spoke of lies beyond the river of souls. I believe Bane is being held captive there. Interesting. Then it seems our course is clear. Okay. 
I cannot say I enjoyed wielding the Helm of Domination. Really? That's surprising. <laughs> it seemed like he was enjoying himself. The magic it holds is unsettling to the dead. <clears throat> I gladly return it to your care. Well, thank you, sir. <laughs> hmm. I feel like we're kind of expanding our mission here a little bit. Now we're like, oh, we gotta save all the souls. Like, all the souls? It's a lot. Our next step is clear. We must travel to Zoval's Cauldron. Where do we get that name from? Oh, there it is, the Cauldron. A frightful place I've heard spoken of in fanatical whispers. It's a forge of sorts that lies across the River of Souls. Okay, that sounds terrible. That's like... Lovecraftian. Alright. I've only been there a handful of times, but I have seen bl Bane held captive by the soldiers there. Okay, so we're going to rescue Bane. If fortune favors us, he'll still be nearby. Once he's safe, we can see about finding this waste on the shades spoke of. Okay, so this will be our next quest. So we're going to stop here for today, actually. Um, you know, before I forget, um, I need to thank all my Patreon supporters, especially Chris S., Luke D., and Nikolai S., so always give a shout out to those three, but I appreciate the support from everyone that has followed along, uh, both on this channel and through the Patreon. Um, with that said, I think we'll stop here, and the plan being that we'll continue the quest, obviously. Um, looks like there's two chapters in the Shadowlands campaign, and I guess we're in the Maw. Okay. I'm surprised we're start, starting, starting in the Maw, considering Bastion is like a lower level zone, but maybe we just do like the introductory stuff here, and then it sends us out to like these other places. I'm excited to check out some of these other zones. The Maw's kind of cool, but it reminds me a lot of like Helheim. Like it really does give me, not, not perfect, like visually it's not the same, but just like the theme is really similar to me, which isn't bad, but... It just makes you realize that even for someone like me who's pretty casual at playing Modern WoW, I'm starting to think like, oh yeah, this is kind of familiar in some aspects. Maybe I'm way off base here. Maybe people disagree. Um, let me know if you disagree, by the way. But I feel like this is, just because it's like an undead zone, it just reminds me a lot of Helheim. This is not, a, not necessarily a bad thing, but just just a observation I'm making. Um, anyway, I'll stop here. Next, we're, we're like literally almost 51. That's crazy. We, we are... We'll probably ding 51 next episode. Um, that seems so fast. Anyway, um, that's a little crazy. <laughs> that is all for today. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.